everybody, it's Joel, AKA The Daily Guru, and this is Music School. Today's lesson is gonna be a bit of one in history, as while there are a number of years that one can look to as vitally important to the progression of music history, few can make the same claims as you find in the year of 1967. While many people will quickly say, yeah, it was the summer of love, there was so much else going on musically that that's almost of lesser importance. Let's begin with changes in television and how music was portrayed. By this point, having rock and roll bands on TV shows was no big deal, but it was during 1967 that two of the most famous incidents occurred on The Ed Sullivan Show. This was in fact the year of the Rolling Stones' legendary performance of Let's Spend the Night Together where they were forced to change the lyrics or they would not be allowed to perform. Months later, The Doors encountered a very similar issue when lead singer Jim Morrison was told that if he did not alter the words to Light My Fire to change the line, Girl We Couldn't Get Much Higher, the band would also not be allowed to perform. Morrison agreed, but during the live taping, he sang the original words and The Doors were forever banned from the show. 1967 also brought the band The Who to stages all across the United States for the first time. And later that year, the band would infamously destroy all of their equipment during a performance on the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. On the other side of the Atlantic, it was during May of 1967 that an up-and-coming band called Pink Floyd played what is regarded to be the first rock concert using quadraphonic sound. If you don't know what that means, don't worry, we'll get to it in a later class. However, the biggest live music news of 1967 was undoubtedly that year's Monterey Pops Music Festival. That year, bands like The Who, Jefferson Airplane, an amazing performance from Janis Joplin with Big Brother and the Holding Company, and a number of other bands were on the bill. And yes, it was during his performance that year that yielded the infamous burning guitar incident for Jimi Hendrix. But the year of 1967 was not limited to greatness in live performances. That was also the year that Elvis Presley was married, as well as the year that the Smile Sessions for the Beach Boys were killed by the record label. Also, the first edition of a small music magazine called Rolling Stone rolled off the presses for the first time in 1967. Yet even with all of this, it's when you look to the songs and albums that were recorded in 1967 that you realize what an outright vital year it was to the progression of every form of music. Among other songs, 1967 saw the recording of Aretha Franklin's version of Respect, Otis Redding's legendary Sittin' on the Dock of the Bay, and the release of Toots and the Maytals' song 5446 That's My Number, which to this day is widely regarded as one of the first reggae songs ever recorded. And if that's not enough to convince you, here's just a few albums that were released during 1967. Arlo Guthrie, Alice's Restaurant, the Songs of Leonard Cohn, Albert King's Born Under a Bad Sign, Pink Floyd's Piper at the Gates of Dawn, Nina Simone Sings the Blues. There were self-titled debuts that year from both David Bowie and The Grateful Dead, along with the solo debut from Frank Zappa, Lumpy Gravy. And then there were the albums that year that defined an entire cultural movement. The Velvet Underground and Nico was released in 67, Jefferson Airplane's Surrealistic Pillow, Jimi Hendrix's Are You Experienced, the self-titled debut from The Doors, and then of course, some band called The Beatles released two records called Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band and Magical Mystery Tour but nobody bought those. It's when you look at years like this and understand that this is just some of the music that was released and performed that year that you're forced to look at the current music scene and be disappointed. So that's today's lesson. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr right here, and we'll see you again next Tuesday for more schooling.